Welcome to the Maternity Mentor. Today we will be talking about causes of second trimester bleeding and how early treatment can save the life of your baby. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm a board certified nurse practitioner and I have over 12 years nursing experience working in mother baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC. I'm maternal newborn nursing certified and I have received training in perinatal mood and anxiety disorders as well as perinatal bereavement. Developing bleeding during the second trimester of pregnancy, which is from week 13 to week 26, can be very scary. Let's explore what causes second trimester bleeding and what to do about it. Bleeding is common during the first trimester of pregnancy, affecting up to 25% of women. But bleeding during the second trimester is less common. Heavier bleeding is more serious during your second trimester than the first trimester and can indicate a more dangerous medical issue. Bleeding does not mean you're going into labor or having a miscarriage but it should not be dismissed. If mild spotting or bleeding is noted, you should contact your healthcare provider. If your bleeding is heavy, you are passing clots of blood, or the bleeding is painful, this is considered a medical emergency and you should contact 911 or go to the nearest emergency room. The first common cause of second trimester bleeding is cervical irritation. This usually manifests as light spotting that will go away in a day or two. Cervical irritation can happen when the blood vessels in your cervix become inflamed and bleed. One of the causes of this irritation can be pressure from the weight of the uterus on the cervix. Cervical irritation is usually not a serious problem unless it is caused by infections like chlamydia, gonorrhea, and other sexually transmitted diseases or urinary tract infections, as these can all lead to preterm labor and miscarriage if left untreated. Cervical irritation can also occur after pelvic exams and sexual intercourse, both of which can lead to spotting. Cervical growths are called cervical polyps. These are usually benign or non-cancerous growths that occur on the cervix. Even though you may not have heard of them, they are actually very common and usually do not pose any issues. These polyps can become swollen and irritated during pregnancy, which leads to bleeding. Cervical polyps are usually diagnosed by your healthcare provider visually after a pelvic examination. They do not require treatment and do not need to be removed unless your healthcare provider suspects that they may be cancerous. Before we continue, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you can get our latest content to have a happy and healthy family. Now let's talk about placenta problems. The placenta is an organ that attaches to the side of your uterus and feeds your baby through the umbilical cord. Proper placental function is important for a healthy pregnancy. Placenta issues are by far one of the most common causes of second trimester bleeding. Placenta previa is when the placenta attaches close to or over the opening of the cervix. This can cause intermittent, painless bleeding throughout the pregnancy. If the placenta covers the cervix entirely, a cesarean section delivery will be required. Delivery with placenta previa is usually early, around 34 weeks gestation, to prevent complications including hemorrhage. Another placenta complication is placental abruption. This occurs when the placenta detaches from the uterine wall too early. Placental abruption will not only cause bleeding, but it will also manifest as severe pain and stomach cramps. A placental abruption can cut off blood and oxygen to the baby, so it is a medical emergency. Luckily, abruptions only happen in 1% of pregnancies. Finally, placenta accreta is another condition that can cause bleeding during your second trimester. Placenta accreta is when the placental tissue grows more than it should and grows into the uterine lining. This abnormal tissue growth may result in bleeding. 
However, bleeding from accreta is more common in the third trimester. Accreta can be a life-threatening condition for mothers, and it requires specialized care and delivery in a hospital setting, usually by cesarean section. Vasa previa is a life-threatening condition that can cause bleeding during pregnancy. This occurs when the baby's blood vessels are parallel to the cervix. This means the blood vessels are on the inside of the amniotic sac or membranes and are unprotected by the umbilical cord or placenta. Vasa previa is dangerous because the blood vessels can tear open, causing the baby to bleed and deprive the baby of oxygen. Signs of Vasa previa include abnormal fetal heart rate and excessive bleeding. Women who are diagnosed as having a Vasa previa are usually monitored in a hospital setting and will have a cesarean section delivery. Bleeding is a common early sign of labor. For some mothers, it starts with the passing of the mucus plug, which is a combination of blood, mucus, and vaginal discharge. The mucus plug often looks like a mucus ball that is brown in color. Light bleeding can then occur as the cervix starts to dilate. It is sometimes also referred to as the bloody show. Preterm labor is anything prior to 37 weeks gestation. Other symptoms of preterm labor include back pain, cramping, or contractions. Additionally, bleeding during the second trimester from other causes places you at increased risk for developing preterm labor. So it's important to have regular visits with your healthcare provider to minimize your risk. Uterine rupture is when the uterus tears open. This is a life-threatening emergency for both mother and baby. When the uterus ruptures, it causes hemorrhaging or excessive bleeding that can deprive the baby of oxygen and causes the mother's blood pressure to drop to dangerous levels. Signs of a possible uterine rupture include, include bleeding, pain, fever, or recent injury to the uterus or stomach. If you are concerned you are experiencing a uterine rupture, you should call 911 or head to the nearest emergency room. Bleeding during the second trimester is not common and should be reported to your healthcare provider immediately. Not every cause of bleeding is a medical emergency, but it should always be checked out. For serious causes of bleeding, receiving emergency care early can save your life and the life of your baby. Symptoms that require immediate treatment include sudden heavy bleeding, bleeding with clots, bleeding that is getting heavier, bleeding after an accident, injury, or fall, bleeding with contractions or pain, bleeding lasting longer than 24 hours, bleeding with weakness, bleeding with dizziness or fainting, bleeding with a fever of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, bleeding with a diagnosed placenta problem, or bleeding in someone with a history of preterm labor. If you are spotting or bleeding, you should contact your healthcare provider immediately so they can advise you on what you should be doing next. Bleeding during the second trimester of your pregnancy is very scary. I hope this has explained what commonly causes second trimester bleeding and what to do about it. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. If you like this content, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can be the first to receive this information. Remember to share this channel with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at the Maternity Mentor.